Okay, now we're wanting to look at our coronary circulation. So let's draw the front part of our heart. Then let's do the posterior side of the heart. This is anterior, posterior. We're going to have our four chambers, which we've already labeled in previous pictures. What we're wanting to look at are the coronary circulation. So this is the coronary arteries and the coronary veins that are going to be taking blood you know, back to the heart. The purpose of the coronary blood vessels is to supply the myocardium with blood. So this right here should make it a lot thicker the other way, but this is this is the aorta here. Let me see if I can make that a little bit different. Here we go. We're gonna make it thick, make it red. What's this? That's a little better. So here's the aorta. The aorta is going to have oxygenated blood. And since you're taking oxygenated blood to the myocardium, that's a good place for it to branch off, for these blood vessels to branch off. So we're going to start down here. Here's the right coronary artery, and it circles around the heart. So this is the right coronary artery. The other major branch is the left coronary artery. So it starts here on the left side of the aorta and it comes about that far. Okay, I wanted to draw both of those relatively thick, but I'm going to draw the other ones a little bit thinner just because they're branches off of the two main coronary arteries. Although I forgot to write down the word left coronary artery. Here it is up here. So there's your left coronary artery. There's the word left coronary artery. Now we want to look at the branches of the right coronary artery. The first little branch of the right coronary artery is here on the right ventricle, and it is called the marginal artery. So that's the marginal artery. Let's come around to the posterior side of the heart. Somehow this is going to work. Okay, make it a little bit thicker. We're going to still do our red color, and the and the right coronary artery comes to the posterior side of the heart like this. Then we're going to make our little thin line because it's going to have a branch on the posterior interventricular septum called the posterior interventricular. artery or sometimes it's in your lab book it's called posterior interventricular branch kind of depends on what book you read to um, whether they call it an artery or branch but there it is right there on this posterior side of the heart in between the ventricles okay next what we want to look at are the branches of the left coronary artery we've looked at the branches of the right coronary artery let's look at the branches of the left coronary artery so here you have your left coronary artery drawn I'm going to come down here and for some reason or another I pushed the wrong button and we got something else but we're going to draw it right around here hmm, there you go and this artery is coming down the front side of the heart in between the ventricles and that's called the anterior interventricular artery or inter anterior interventricular branch. Okay. The second branch of the left coronary artery comes right here, right up here on the front side of the heart, going around. We're going to circle around, and that's called the circumflex. Okay, the circumflex is going to continue to circle around the heart, and it's going to meet in with the right coronary artery. And where two arteries meet, that's called an anastomosis. So it said that your circumflex artery or your circumflex branch and the right coronary artery anastomose on the posterior side of the heart. Those are all of your coronary arteries that we'll study in this class. So let's look at the veins. You have a great cardiac vein, 
a middle cardiac vein, and a small cardiac vein. And they're all going to empty into this blue structure right here on the posterior side of the heart called the coronary sinus. Okay, the coronary sinus is going to empty into this right atrium right here. This is the right atrium in our picture. Okay, so we're wanting to look, we're wanting to look at the veins that are going to carry the deoxygenated blood back into the general circulation. So we'll start with the great cardiac vein. The great cardiac vein starts down here on the front side of the heart in between the ventricles and it comes up along, does everybody see where I am? Up along the anterior interventricular artery. Then it's going to circle around the heart with the circumflex. See, it circles around with the heart with the circumflex and it empties into the coronary sinus. So that is the great cardiac vein. The great cardiac vein. Okay, so now let's look at the middle cardiac vein. It's a little easier. Actually, it's probably the easiest of the three. The middle cardiac vein is located right here. It's beside the posterior interventricular artery. It comes up and the blood empties into the coronary sinus. Okay, the small cardiac vein, I'll put it over here. Put the name over here. The small cardiac vein is going to start here next to the marginal artery. It's going to come up and it's going to circle around with the right coronary artery and it empties into the coronary sinus. So those are your coronary blood vessels. The coronary arteries, remember, are going to branch off of the aorta because they're taking oxygenated blood to the myocardium. Those, the blood will actually go through those arteries, go to smaller arteries, go to smaller arteries, go to arterioles, go to capillaries. Capillaries is where exchange takes place. So this blood is going to lose the oxygen. It'll load up on carbon dioxide, and then it'll go through venules, small veins, and it'll, it'll get into the veins. And the three major cardiac veins are your small cardiac vein, your middle cardiac vein, and your great cardiac vein and all of them empty into the coronary sinus. They all empty deoxygenated blood into the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus empties into the right atrium.